Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on a nude set with some gold foil. So we're gonna start by cutting and measuring the tips to make sure they're all the same length. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other hand. Always making sure you measure from the cuticle to the tip of the nail. So now we're gonna start filing and give the tips a look. So at this point, I only like filing the sides. I leave the tip for last. I file it after I apply the acrylic. So here what I'm doing is erasing the smooth. It gives you a smoother application and will also ensure that that line of demarcation between the tip and the natural nail won't show. So at this point it looks like I'm being very harsh but I'm really not. Remember this video is sped up. So it may seem like I'm doing it hard, but I'm really not. You have to be very careful because it can burn your client. So I think the best way to describe how to do it is to do it fast, but gently. And now we're going to start our mixing because she brought me a picture and the color was an in-between color between these two colors you see here. So I just showed her the colors and we decided to mix an in-between colors. So all I did was take half and half of each color and put it in a new pot and that made the perfect color. So here you, you can see the color. This is the right nude. So that's another tip if you guys don't have any specific color and you have other colors that you can mix you can always try mixing and making new colors you don't have to go ahead and buy every single color on the market so imagine you have a brighter pink and you want to make it a little lighter all you have to do is mix it with a little bit of white and just keep mixing until you get your desired color For this specific um, mixture that I did, I used two perfect match colors that I'm gonna have listed below because I don't remember the name of them. So I'm gonna start my acrylic application. I'm gonna start by applying the nude color two thirds up the nail, up the cuticle, down to the nail. The second bead is going to go right below our cuticle area. That's because you don't want the acrylic to go up to the cuticle, so it will make you harder for you to file afterwards and will also cause the nail to lift. For this second nail, I'm apply the base color. And as you can see, I'm trying to give it the shape with the brush. I'm actually going to be cutting out some negative, negative space to put the new color and then add in the foil. So here I'm using the knife to cut out a straight line but for the second nail you will see that I realized it was not necessary because 
at the end I'm still going to put some gold foil right between two, the two colors so it won't really matter if you cut it perfectly or not so on this nail I decided to just do it with the brush And you guys, even if the video is sped up, you guys can actually tell my acrylic was drying faster than usual. And that is because Monomer acts different in different um, temperatures. So if the temperature is a little hot, Monomer tends to dry faster. And when it's cold, it is the total opposite in my run to the side and take longer to dry. So if the temperature is hotter around where you live, I recommend that you work with smaller beads so it will make it faster and more manageable to work. And on the other hand, if it's cold, you can work with larger bits. That doesn't mean you have to do a nail with just one bead, but just practice and see what works best for you. Practice picking up a bead and looking at it and checking if it's too dry or too wet. You can always drain your bead in the paper towel if you find that it's too wet or too runny. So here I'm gonna go ahead and fill the empty space and then right between where the two colors meet I'm going to add some gold foil. After I'm done doing that, now I'm gonna go ahead and cap all 10 fingers. So it is very important to encapsulate the nails where you applied the foil because you don't want to file the design you just did off when you file with the electric file. So 
at this point you can also check the nails and you can always fix it with the clear acrylic if you find that you did your nails too thin you can go ahead and just apply a good coat of the clear acrylic to make it a little more thicker So after this I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other hand but I'm not going to show it on the video to not make it too too long. So now we're going to go ahead and give the nails some shape. I'm going to be filing both sides of the nails as well as the tip of the nails. And as always I'm going to be doing that to all 10 fingers and then I'm going to go ahead and e-file all 10 nails. So here I'm just going to start using the electric file and I would recommend that if you have not used an electric file before, you practice on your own hands first just so you get the feel of how it will feel on yourself first.
also at this point you see me filing and perfecting the nails because after this I'm going to go ahead and buff all the nails and send my client to wash her hands. So here you will see me cleanse the nails with some alcohol. After I apply my top coat, I'm going to go ahead and give it one minute and a half in the LED lamp. And that guys completes today's video i really hope you like watching it and listening to my voice for the first time if you haven't before <laughs> so this is a final look <laughs>